Abdi alipofika Nairobi alianzisha biashara ya mkahawa kabla ya kujiunga na babaye na kuanzisha biashara ya duka kuu. Nilizaliwa Isiolo. After some years back nikaenda Mandera. Which I nilisoma pale primary after primary KCP nilikuja Nairobi. Niliendea na study pale. After studies siku join campus. So nilianza my own business. Before business I was a driver. So I saved there and kwa driver after the driving nika save save ile ile investment nikafungua na biashara. Uh, it was a canteen. Nilirun thank God ili expand. Abdi na babaya walianzisha biashara ya duka kuu maarufu supermarket kisha baadaye wakayamisha hadi kaunti ya Kisii. Hii ni baada ya babaye kushauriwa na rafiki yake mmoja kuwa biashara hiyo ingefanya vizuri mno mjini Kisii. So tukatafuta mali ya kufungua supermarket first. Which tukafungua B Center Nairobi. Hiyo branch ile run run kidogo. So tukaamua ku expand. The name Arizona to expand. So my father did a research, akapatana rafiki yake mkisi which anaishi Nairobi. Ukakuja kutembea huku. So place yenyewe ilim nice. Tutafuta nyumba. Tukajenga hapa. So here we are doing business. Na je, iliwagharimu pesa ngapi kununua bidhaa zilizoko huko ndani? Yeah, starting capital ilikuwa 4.5 ni kununua shamba. Kununua shamba kujenga na kuweka kila kitu kwa hapo ndani hapo. No. Shamba in shamba ilikuwa ni rent. Shamba ni rent. So, hiyo 4.5 ilikuwa ni kuweka vitu tu. Mara nyingi wamiliki wa biashara hutumia majina yenye maana ya karibu kwa biashara zao na wawili hawa wana maelezo tofauti. Ebu tusikize. Hapo kuzaliwa huko but kuna back then kuna wakati alikuwa America he used to work there so i think uh, ame come up na hiyo jina because of that town alikuwa anaka Jay Muliza Jay Muliza but uh, unafaa muulize obvious kujua alikuwa anaka hiyo town eh. so obvious uh, nikaa hiyo town ilim nice ilim nice eh. unajua nafikiri wa maunda hiyo jina jina ya familia wakatengeneza kufanya Arizona in full akatu ah. akatumia kama image sasa ama kama kampuni So hizo majina Arizona kila mmoja ni ya mtu kwa familia. Biashara hii inaendelezwa na watu wanne kutoka familia moja akiwemo Abdi na babaye, Nur akiwa ni mkoi wake na pia mjomba wao mmoja. Me, my dad, my cousin na my uncle. Nur pia ni mzaliwa wa Isiolo na kabla kujiunga na biashara hii alikuwa na biashara yake ya Mpesa huko Kericho hadi pale alipopata mteja mmoja ambaye alimgarimu pesa zaidi ya elfu tano kwa kutumia kitambulisho kisicho halali na pia simu hiyo aliyoitumia ilikuwa ya wizi nilimtolea nili pesa hmm. around 6400 hmm. lakini ni ID niliandika ni tofauti hata ilikuwa nusu ndio kuna ile harakati ile ya pilipika pilika zangu ya kuharakisha kuandika mm. niliandika wateja walikuwa wengi niliandika ID mbaya yeah. ndio nilisomea tu na mdomo wangu nipea kila ID eh kuponesha sasa watu, sasa case ilikuwa pale hiyo jamaa alikuwa ameiba hiyo simu na akajua link sio juvent venye alipata hiyo link sasa ni safari kama kalipiga simu akasema kuna hii pesa umetoa somea ID kasoma ID ni tofauti wakaniita pale nikawa visit nikawa wakaniambia unajua hii pesa umetoka kwa kimakosa nikakubali tukaongea pale na administrator uh, wakasema lazima hiyo mzee pesa yake ilifandio juu it is was an old man nilikuwa mm-hmm. mzee na hata mimi pale nilimwona huruma tulienda na kazini yangu fulani kanambia hii kazi itakwaje nikamwambia acha nitamkombeza sasa nikaongea na safari kama kavurudisha pesa kwa yule mzee kule mzee alibiwa simu eh sasa hiyo pesa iliungua hivyo juu hakuna faida nimepata sasa nilienda shot hivyo pesa 
alizozipata nur alizotumia kujidumu kimaisha na pia kulipa karo ya chuo kikuu Jamaliza Godwili na Maliza next year mwezi wa Nur ni mwanafunzi wa masuala ya nguvu kazi ambayo kwa lugha ya Kiingereza tunasema ni human resource management. Nur angali yupo chuoni akiwa na matumaini ya kuhitimu mwezi wa tatu mwaka ujao. Kuna time nilifika kidogo kikawa ngumu. Kuna time niko na wateja wengi lakini time class nafika. Sasa nikaenda nikaongea na shule. Nikafanya weekend peke yake, Saturday peke yake nenda class. So Saturday nafunga full day. Ule. Sasa pesa nyingi sana. Eh, sasa de, ile vile vile nilikuwa nataka kufanya. Nilikuwa nataka lazima nisome, na lazima nifanye nifanye. Bale pale kwa ile pesa najilipia nyumba. Kula ni pale pale. Kujisomesha ni pale pale. Sasa itabidi nikiacha mpesa itakuwa ngumu kwangu kufanya nini? Kuendeleza ile shule. Katika biashara hii kila mmoja ana majukumu yake na jukumu la nur ni kuhakikisha kwamba bidhaa zote zimewasilishwa kwa bei yake. Kwa mimi nasimamia mambo na kilini, yani nasimamia almost kila kitu. Oda vitu zikisha, vitu zipo bangwa kwa shelf. Uh, vitu zikini receive kuweka kwa system. Ile pale kasa makaenda kununua yes. ajoe bei. Anahakikisha kwamba ile bei imeandikwa pale kwa kwa shelf mm. inalingana na ambaye iko kwa system. So hiyo ndio kwa kazi yangu hakikisha kila kitu inaenda in order. Kuweka kwa system vitu zikikuja mimi ndo na receive. Niki receive naenda kwa computer na zieka zote. Mm -hmm. Kama yenye zilikuwa before naongeza na add. Ndio hiyo namba. In case mzee anataka ntuje mwenyewe sasa boss wetu mm -hmm. anataka kutoka stock mm -hmm. siku ngumu. Mm -hmm. Yuki kitu tarehe fulani. Another thing nafanya ni kufile hizo documents kama watu tumalipa naandika paid ana record kwa kitabu ililipwa tarehe fulani siku fulani eh e, na hakikisha tarehe pia tarehe ambayo vitu zinaribika e, expiry date mimi ndo director wa Arizona yeah kila kitu lazima ipitie kwako yeah. kama mzee ayo yeah Biashara hii ya duka kuu inapata wateja wengi baada ya watoto kufunga shule na pia jioni baada ya kazi wengi hupitia hapa kununua vyakula vya jioni na pia bidhaa nyinginezo ambazo wanahitaji nyumbani kwa matumizi ya kila siku. Maandili ya tuko busy ni kama September. Kwa nini September? September unajua watoto wanafungwa shule, wanaenda shule. Na wazazi pale most of them wanatumia pesa kwa school fees ama kununua vitu. Hmm. Alafu wakirudi nyumbani sasa unga inakuwa ya mama na ba peke yake. Peke yake. <laughs> sasa wale watoto budget yao iko. Ah. So ile mtu alikuwa ananunua unga kumi kwa wiki, ananunua mbili ama tatu. Sasa hiyo iko chini. As normal watoto wakirudi holiday, wazazi wamalizia pesa wapi? Kwa school fees. Kwa school fees hapa huko. So as after then that month unafaa kuvumilia as a businessman. In fact, uh, kuna mara hata unarudi kwa your own pocket kupewa wafanyakazi na kununua vitu. But you have to focus forward. Uendelee. Yeah. Sasa unafanya right. kazi na kazi yako. Mhm. Mm Sasa nyingine lazima watu wanakosana. Hakuna kitu smooth kila siku. Yeah. Unakosana. Mnafanya naye kazi di kazi yako. Mshao iko sana juu ya biashara. Ah, uh, tujakosana sofa juu ya biashara. Tu kila mtu uko na kuna pata na anafaa ku play. Na tena unajua hapa watu tunafanya na watu tofauti. Mm. Kuna mkisipa wale unakuta mjaluo ndo wanafanya hapa unaona tuna, watu ni wanafanya kazi ni tofauti. Na wengi unajua ni watu hapa ni wakisi. So kuna hata wenye tunabishana mbele ya watu. Mm. Kama kuna difference yetu tunakaa kando na sema hapa maharibu. Hapa ifai kwenye hivi. Tunaongea kando. Ama pale tuna tunaona hapa kumaumana karibu tukongane, mm. tunaongea lugha nyumbani tu tuelezane. Unaona eh? Mm ile mashida zetu hata sijui. Sasa kila siku tuna smile, kila siku tuna smile, wanafakazi wana enjoy. Okay, wakati kuna conflict kati yetu, huwa mostly atuletangi kwa kazi. Tukia kwa kazi kuna chain of command. Mm. Kila mtu follow that chain. So jioni tukifunge hesabu tumalize kazi wafanya kazi waende, huwa tunabaki si wenyewe kando. Kama ni mzee na makosa tunamwambia hadharani. Kama ni nur ni hivyo. Kama ni mimi ni hivyo. That's how we deal with our conflicts. Na 
vile mlikuja okay wewe ulikuja hapa mwaka huu lakini yeah. Abdi amekuwa hapa Abdi amekuwa hapa Abdi kuanzisha alianzisha hapa Alianzisha hapa yeah. wewe ulikuja kazi hapa hii mwaka hii mm-hmm. hapa ni kisi yeah. watu wengi ni wa kisi yeah. labda watu saa zingine wanakuja wangu wanauliza unashangaa watu wanafanya nini huko mm-hmm. yeah. vile ulifika hapa uli receiveiwa aje na watu wa huko Ah uh, mimi nili receiveiwa vizuri Mkuu changamoto ni Luka. Hata salamu sikuwa naelewa. Mtu anakuja niko kwa line na panga vitu ananiuliza. Ananisalamia. Unaona hiyo tu nilikuwa challenges ni mafesi. Na hiyo nimeshukuru sahi kidogo na sikasikia kitu kama salamu hivi nasikia kidogo. Na usiniulize ina hizo tuaje. Nilikuwa nataka kuuliza. Usiweza sahi unajifunza kiki si. Eh naelewa. Ju watu wote nafanya kwa line ni oksi. Unaona? Unaweza kuwa unaongelesha fanya kazi kitu labda hiyo kitu unajua ni kwa kitu unajua iko wapi lakini umeshindwa kumbuka eh? sasa kitu kama yuko ongea kidogo nasikia anakuja nasaidia hapo unaona eh hivyo na yeah. most probably tuna eh nani anakufundisha ama ushamba girlfriend already kwa na si girlfriend lakini nimejuana tu na hao in short anafundisha anafundisha kidogo kidogo tunaelekea katika mapumziko na tutarejea baada ya muda usiokuwa mrefu usiende mbali au uh, mini lakini hiyo checkpoint vitu kama bugs nini wanaacha nje kuna ile pale ukaacha ile luggage kila kitu mtu anaingia tu solo man solo anaingia anafanya kazi kitoka alafu kuna sisi TV kila pahali kuna mtu wako kuangalia ni hiyo nyingine ni ya Mungu lakini ni ngumu mtu yani yeah, wale eh, ni ngumu eh, na wale mtu wale watu mimi nafanya nao kazi mimi kuna siku na nikoza niko hapa niko nao ile time labda ni ombe rusa niende classes niko na class hiyo ni sawa lakini time nyingine niko na wao. Na kuna ile vitu ndio watu mtu aibe fichike ni ngumu. Mm. Na hao watu usiye tu watu mazalo si mmoja amekuja pamoja, ni watu tofauti. Okay, hapa policy is clear. Ukinua vitu hakuna ku return. Once you bought it you are on your own. You expire, you are damaged, it's yours. So what I normally do, I want to check my things one month before. Okay after after that one kanga vitu kama offer Sometimes I brand them sometimes you buy two buy one get one free even ndo nasukumanga Duka kuu la Arizona linapania kuendeleza biashara hii na kuhakikisha kila mteja anapowasili hapa anapata chochote kile anachokihitaji iwapo ni chakula hao ata bidhaa vya kielektroniki Hii yote hii sehemu zote ni zetu a uh, kufanya tulikuwa ilikuwa na jengo hapa juu mm. ndio maana tumeanza huko chini mm. so that's why unaona vitu zingine nyingi kama fruits hivi hatuuzi hapa kwa sababu tulikuwa tumepangia so hii sehemu tunataka kupangia hapa chini tufanye hoteli na hapa tufuze vitu kama tv nini vitu yani electronics mingi mingi ile mtu akikuja hapa akikuja Arizona arudi aseme kitu hakuna mm. e, ile kwa void wa hivi we want to increase the, pra- the branches Kisika ya Kisi County, pande ya Kisumu, pande ya Eldoret. So we are targeting those areas. Yeah. Hey, ndio mtu aweze kupata ajira katika duka hili. Anahitaji kuwa amefikia wapi kimasomo? The first thing naangalia discipline. The second thing uh, professional kwenye amesomea qualification zake. Yeah. Kuna wale watu wanafanya kwa assist na computer na kuna wale watu wanafanya kwa lines. Sawa yeah. kwa line, most probably wanakuanga watu wamaliza form 4. Mm-hmm. Form 4 leave wanakuja. Most probably watu wanajua responsibility. Unajua hizi upea mtoto ametoka primary, amazoea ile mazoea ya mama unampea kazi ya juu responsibility. Haizi take responsibility. Hiyo yeah. itakuwa ngumu sasa kuile kuhandle, kumwando. Ama ajamachua ukimwambia kitu anaona labda kama unamuonea ama unadharau haki yake unaona. Lakini hawa watu ma high schoolers ni watu wanapitia maisha, most of them wanapitia boarding. Yeah. Watu wanaweza survive. Yeah kwamba afanye kazi kwa siku watu ni short na overwork wanavumilia kama biashara nyingine ile changamoto hazikosi na familia hii inatuelezea baadhi ya mambo yanayowakumba hapa kitu ya kwanza ni language barrier unaweza pata mtu amefika but anaongea kikisi hichi mimi sijui kikisi hata kidogo eh hata kidogo okay at least sasa nasema ni melan kidogo aina za jibu salamu at least but uh, such things can happen kwa naitanga one of my workers 
So na huwa na handover kwake a deal na ye. If the matter ni kitu serious mm. that's when na waita wote wawili my work and translate ya na angalia the way out to solve that problem. Dini ya Kiislamu hairuhusu watu kuzungumzia urithi ila mwanzilishi wa biashara hii ameandika hosia ambapo watoto hata wale wa jinsia ya kike watapata sehemu ya mali hiyo baada ya kufikisha umri wa kukomaa. Hiyo bado sijaongelea lakini obviously vitu kama hizo huwa inadecidewa na watu huko juu. Na labda watu wa uncle Olivia kujaongea sema wewe hii chukua lakini most probably uh, Somali people wanafuata sheria. Kuna ile kiwango wanafaa kuchukua, kuna kiwango mdogo wanachukua, kuna kiwango msichana wanachukua. Kwa ile inheritance. Hiyo ku decide hivi hatujai panga yani hatujai ongelelea. Mm. Eh, hata hujuwezi hata jua wendo tena mbele ya mzee mzee baki. Unaona? Mm. Eh. Yeah. So hiyo tu hakuna vile tumeongelelea. Hiyo hiyo na hizo juu. Okay, sisi ni Waislamu. Mambo ya inheritance atuongea yangi sasa hivi. Okay, unaweza ongea sasa hivi, unaweza wake unaweza make your will. But we see which atufanyangi hivyo. Okay, tuseme mzee akiaga I will continue with the family business and I will take care of the rest. Na in fact eh mpaka wafike 18. In fact atasio 18 kaka vike 23 24 kwa maya kili hapo ndo nao nampatia share ya share yake kila wiki kampuni ya Arizona ufanya mikutano ya kuhakikisha kila mmoja yuko sawa na maswala ambayo abdi hawezi kuyatatua anahakikisha amemfikia babake ambaye ni mkurugenzi mkuu wa biashara hii okay meeting zetu zinakuanga after every one week Every Sunday Yeah, every Sunday na uitanga. So they tell me about their challenges. Enyeneza solve out. I solve them. Yeah. I consult my dad since he has experience more than me. When I'm consult ye, show me the way. Kisi sio nyumbani kwa familia hii ili wameweza kuona uhusiano mwema baina yao na wakazi wa hapa na hata siku kuu ya Eid wanaisherekea hapa hapa kila mwaka. Okay, ka inategemea venye unataka. Naweza enda kusherekea na familia. Since but uh, unajua okay after Ramadan hiyo Eid ni watoto tu kusherekea ile kupeleka watoto out nini. Which so who are mostly na release dad anaenda kuselebrate na family. Mimi naendelea na job. We celebrate here na wafanyakazi wangu tunaendelea na job. Kila pilao big party hapa ni kitu anafanya. Karibu. Abdi na Nur hawajasomea biashara na wanaonekana kuelewa biashara hii kwa kina. Je, walifikia hapa vipi? Okay, I think experience is the best teacher. So unajua back then nikiwa at school holidays. I used to come with my father for a shop. So I used to run things. I just watch and learn. Labda yeye ni kuna sana. Wote lan kwa kazi kama ni kubwa sana. Eh? Ama Okay, unajua okay. 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 mostly ile challenge watu hupatanga kwa family business. Unapata mtu ameanza kazi na family, si kama babake, uncle yake. So what why can you anafikirianga focus yao ni moja wanajua mzee akitoka hapa i can't run things so wana limits that's the problem with most people kazi kama hii marafiki wakati usahau kuwa ni biashara na ni kila mmoja sharti alipe bidhaa kama wateja wengine wowote yes kwanza friendship na business kitu mbili tofauti mtu akuja niambie shida yake kando ile usaidie naweza msaidia naweza msaidia nayo ya. Yeah. But uh, at the end of the day hizi vitu lazima pia mimi kuna mtu atakuja kufanya nini hesabu kwangu. Okay hata nikupatia kitu I'll pay for it. So nothing's for free. I either pay for it ama nikwambie reality haiwezekani. Yeah.
Pengine kuna pali labda inawezekana inafanyika lakini si hapa. Hapa kuna kuna oda ambayo ituma set. Kuna expenses, kuna pali utaandika expenses. Kama unataka kuchukua mattress unaandika ukate kwa mshahara wako. Hiyo kuongea na boss baadaye utasema mimi nimeishwa na hii hii ikafanya ikafanyika. Unajua kuna ile baadaye itafanywa hisabu. Mm. Na kuna ile mtu tuma assign pesa vitu ya kutoka yeye anatoa cash. Mm. Na pesa ya mingi leo yeye ndaneka. Sasa unajua nikikuja nichukue hapa baadaye stock isabiwe nani nitamleta shida? Ile mtu wa pesa. So kuchukua hata kitu mm. kitu ya mchana kutumia kidogo dogo ina shida. Hata sasa leo jioni unataka kuchukua kitu uende jioni jumani unaandika. Unaandika kwa expense. Ndio ukinote unajua hii imeenda wapi hapa? Eh. Unajua kitu ni system na kompyuta ni kitu imesetwa hizi danganyo. So leta sasa ukuje uchukue mattress hiyo ni ngumu. Unaandika mahali umechukua mattress tarehe fulani siku fulani. Kama mwajiri wa mwingine yule akitaka pesa kando na mshahara wake ni lazima atumie njia inayokubaliwa. Japo kuwa biashara ni ya familia yao, kila mtu ni sawa ili kuhakikisha biashara hii imefikia kizazi kijacho. Okay, if you want something, unachukua unapay. Simple. Yeah. Uvumilivu, usafi na uaminifu na pia jinsi utakavyojihusisha na wateja wako ni kitu cha muhimu sana katika biashara na familia hii inafahamu mambo haya kwa kina. Kuvumilia. Business need patience. Wewe okay, unapata mtu anafungua hapa, anakaa mwezi mmoja anaona biashara haikuji. Atavunga virago ahame the next town. Unapata ile wakati wa kuhama ile expense alipata, ile expense aliingia inakuwa ni double impact. So unafika the end of the day eh, utapoteza everything na hakuna nothing, ume achieve nothing. So peshi. Ave advice ya kwanza ambayo nitampa ni customer service. Mm. Uh, popote ambayo unaenda hakuna mtu atakuhudumia ata hakuna venye unahudumia mtu ukua na sura kavu mm. inataka ile sura ya bashasha wewe you always smile you see mm, mm. if you are a worker you are always smiling it's not that you are happy it's not that you are happy but you know what you are doing mm. inside eh? so that is uh, the feeling ambayo kila mtu yani customer anakuja anaona anaona smile face anakuja but the somebody the problem maybe they are the workers not even the workers maybe the managers wale ambao wanasimamia wapea kazi hawako mm. relation yao with the wafanyakazi kwa aje so the moment hawatu wako sawa na watu ambao wana supplier kitu hiyo maisha inaenda vizuri maoni yako ya kufanya biashara kufanya biashara na family yako kidogo okay in fact kwa mimi na enjoy personally i enjoy it Anything go wrong you as a family mnakaa chini mnaongea so si kama ile kufanya kazi na mtu mwingine mnasumbuana mnavurutana huko hakuna kitu kama hiyo if there's any problem you call a family meeting you sit down you solve the issues mpenzi mtazamaji ni hayo tu tulio kuandalia wiki hii katika kipindi chetu cha biashara za familia na tumaye amejifunza mengi juu ya biashara hii Jina langu ni Vanessa Ndavi na kwa heri kwa sasa.